Here's a question for you. How do you put Christ first in your life? Huh? How do you do that? I mean, yes, yes, Jesus loves you and wants to rescue you from your sin. It is a free gift. He offers you eternal life and he wants a relationship with you. Yes, all that is true. But how do you put Christ first in your life? Well, as I've said before, a relationship is an ongoing thing. Uh, we are to respond to Jesus daily uh, by seeking his face, by praying, by meditating on his word, and uh, just all around having him be a part of our lives. Matthew 6, and we talk about this verse a lot, says a lot about this. It says, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Seek first the kingdom of God. Seek first the Lord. We should seek God daily, not just on Sundays. Oh! I mean, <laughs> I've heard this said before. Would you just eat one day a week? No, no. You want to eat every day. Every day, you wanna, I like eating. <laughs> But some people treat uh, the relationship with God like that. I'm good. I went to church on Sunday. Mm, I'm all full. Oh, that was a good meal. I'm good for the rest of the week. No, you're not. You need to feed from the Word of God every day, putting Him first. And that is what seeking the Lord looks like. And that's what it means when we put Christ first. He's our first priority. Not just in the beginning of our day either, but all day. The Lord is a part of our lives. It says this in Psalm 37, verse 3 through 5. Trust in the Lord and do good. Okay, Dwell in the land and feed on His faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and He shall give you the desires of your heart. If you delight yourself in the Lord, He's going to give you the desires of your heart. And it doesn't mean that, well, if I'm good and I go to church, he's got to give me everything I want. Yay! No, it doesn't mean that. But what it means is you delight, as God is your delight, he's going to give you those desires of your heart because your desires of your heart are going to be about him and serving him and pleasing him. He's going to bless you. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Commit and trust. As we desire to put the Lord first, these are things we should do. We trust in the Lord. We dwell in this land and we feed on His faithfulness, on the faithfulness of God, trusting in Him, delighting ourselves in Him, committing our way to the Lord. And there it is again. Trust in Him. Trust in Him. These are all uh, directions for us of how to put Jesus first in our lives. And now it's time for Vinny and Stuffin. <laughs> I'm glad that I daily get to know God better. Yeah, and put him first in my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, God wants us to sit down and know him better. It's like sitting down with our best friend and having a cup of coffee. Oh, I like coffee. Hey. Yep, that's true, Stuffin. See, that reminds me. Where do you learn to make a banana split? Huh? In Sunday school. Ha, ha, ha. Now, putting Jesus first is kind of a big subject, but the Bible gives us instruction on how to do that. I love Psalm 119, verse 60. It says this, I made haste and did not delay to keep your commandments. Keeping God's ways, as it says in the book of John, Jesus says this as well, shows the Lord, that we love Him because we're doing what He says. We're responding in love going, Lord, I love you. I want to do what you're telling me to do. I find the things that my wife likes, I want to do those for her because I love her. She likes crumble cookies. I want to get crumble cookies for her because she likes them. The Bible is God's Word and the Bible is always really keen on showing us what that is for. Not just to say, this is God's word, do it, but 
shows us what God's Word does in our lives. It says this in 2 Timothy 3.16 and 17, All Scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, and reproof is like, uh, you know, conviction, convicting your heart, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. God wants to instruct us in how to live rightly. That the man of God may be complete. Wait, wait. God's word is here so that you can be complete. He can complete you. He can do a work in you. And it says this, thoroughly equipped for every good work. As we've talked before in Ephesians 2.10, God has good works for us to walk in. Well, the Bible, God's Word, will equip us for every good work. That's so cool. The Bible says that. God gives us His Word to equip us, to help us, to strengthen us, so that we can put Jesus first in our lives. And now it's time to dig deeper with Dudley. You know, I want to put Jesus first in my life every day. Yeah, because uh, there is always uh, distractions. Yeah, I get distracted. Yeah, that can cause me to lose my focus on him. Yeah, it's true. Oh yes, there are distractions all around us that can keep us from seeking God and putting him first. Yes, that is true. Hey, Bojab, what are your jewel belt? Ha, 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 ha. I want to see your jewels. What's are your jewel belt? Ha, 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 ha. Oh, yes, just like that, Rexy can be a distraction. No more coffee, Rexy. No more. Stay away from the coffee maker. Mm hmm. Yup, that's true, Punjab. <laughs> Always remember, when you dig down deep, you're going to hit rock. And Jesus is our rock. Yeah. <laughs> so with that, let's pray. Oh, Lord, it is a daily thing to put you first. Help us to do that this week. Help us to do, it, do that daily. We love you, Jesus. We pray that you would bless and keep our week. In your name, amen. God bless you. Yeah.